Akshapatra is a pod full of unlimited food. Akshapatra is also an organization that provides free meals to kids. It's a bridging a gap between education and hunger. They're providing two million meals per day to the children back in India. And they are celebrating about three billion meals they have provided till date. Today, we are at a fundraiser gala. Here are the celebrities and supporters from everywhere are here. So let's take a highlight of the event. So we have chairman of uh, USA Akshapatra, Mr. Dej Deshpande. So let's talk to him about uh, Akshapatra more in detail here. Uh, about uh, this organization, you know, the history about it actually. That's what most people want to know. Right. You know, as you know, a lot of the children in India come hungry to school. Yes. And on an empty stomach, it's yes. very hard to learn anything. And so this organization said, let's see if we can beat this problem. Mm -hmm and really created this, this uh, solution with advanced engineering, supply chain, procurement, accounting, all the good stuff that everybody uses in Bay Area to solve a lot of problems. Yes. And they, they built these kitchens where it's all local cuisine, local produce, so it's food that children really love. Mm -hmm. And they can do it all for 20 cents. So $40 feeds a child for the whole year, and we serve only government schools, and the government gives us the $20 that are spent otherwise. Mm -hmm. And so we raised the other $20 from all the well-wishers, including people in Bay Area. And, and today, we're at 1.8 million meals every day. And very proud that just a couple of months ago, we served our three billionth meal. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a big thing in itself here. Yeah. And uh, this organization have uh, come a long way, you know, like a, it's just, it's like a, a relatively new organization, you know. So it's, uh, its growth is pretty enormous, you know. So tell us uh, how can uh, like a residents of um, Bay Area can uh, help uh, further it? Well, you know, I, I think I, I'm sort of really, really mm -hmm. excited about how the two things are coming together. You know, everything that people do in Bay Area, they are in startups, they're in companies, which is hugely competitive. So if they blink, they lose the game, right? Yes, and as a result of that, there's execution excellence in everything they do because they have to compete all the time. Mm -hmm. And so the execution excellence of what people do in Bay Area, but sometimes, you know, in that mad race, mm -hmm. people lose their compassion, That's you know, about the environment, about mm -hmm. the people that we live with, and people who don't have the opportunities and so on. Mm -hmm. Whereas organizations like Akshay Patra have a huge amount of compassion, you know, getting up at three o'clock in the morning and making these meals for 1.8 million really? people Absolutely. requires a lot of compassion. Mm -hmm. So I think the big opportunity for all of us is to really combine the execution excellence mm -hmm. of, of all these startups with the compassion of organizations like Akshay Patra. So we need people in, in Bay Area to really com contribute to this organization, their excellence in execution, but also the resources that we need to really build. Because you know none of these companies ever get built without a good balance sheet. Mm -hmm. and, and we need a good balance sheet. And so if we, can, if we can have these people join us and just change this whole way that we look after the people who are not a part of this Silicon Valley game, mm -hmm. I think it's a real game changer. Very well said here. Anything else you would like to say to, uh, to all the people out there? Well, you know, very excited, very excited about all this support that you guys have been giving us. You know, it's, it's, it's taken last 10, 15 years to slowly build. And I think it's, it's a gradual build of this support that we have. And we really, really appreciate what all of you are doing. And I hope we can all join hands and, and really solve the problems that are so hard to solve. Thank you so much. Thank you. So we have uh, Shri with us. Uh, he's uh, one of the board members of US Akshay Patra. So let's talk to him about Akshay Patra. Welcome, Shri. Thank you. So tell us uh, more about Akshay Patra, the work that needs to be done. What do you think about that? Yeah, as Desh mentioned, you know, we feed 1.8 million children every day mm -hmm. in India. But, you know, when you think about what still remains to be done, there are probably somewhere in the range of 100 million children who go to school and don't get a good meal. So the scale of what still remains to be done is enormous. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I want to make sure that everyone understands is why Lakshya Patra has come a long way and is doing enormous work and doing great work. At the end of the day, I want people to understand that there's still a lot to be done. 
uh, Vanna here today. She is uh, CEO of uh, US Akshay Patra. So let's talk to her about Akshay Patra. Welcome, Vandana. Thank you. So tell us about the functioning, you know, what do you do, what we um, all do uh, with this organization to uh, enhance its uh, functioning in U.S.? Sure. So Akshay Patra USA Foundation is uh, primarily uh, focused on sending money to India mm -hmm. to meet the costs for what we do in India, which is to feed a child. Um, and we feed 1.7 million children, so there is a lot of fundraising we need to do. Yeah. Um, cost per $20 to feed a child for the whole year. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are a team of nine people in the U.S., uh, plus me, and we have, um, we conduct about 40 events throughout the year. This, that's what we're doing this year in 2019. And uh, everything from grassroots to having booths at places, going and talking at other people's events, presenting what Akshay Patra does, showing videos, uh, TV ads, radio, newspaper, and uh, having all kinds of events, exclusive events to mass, uh, uh, you know, uh, productions. Uh, we do all of those, and we raise only 10% of what India needs. Oh, okay. The rest is raised in India. Uh, but we are growing well, and uh, this year I think we'll be 35% over last year. And, you know, I did notice like $20 um, like can provide a, a child for a whole year, which is a very reasonable amount. You know, we all can kind of extend that kind of generosity. Uh, so anything um, you would want to uh, tell to the viewers, you know, to come up and open their purses? Absolutely. So tonight we are having Anupam Kher here tonight, and he is very uh, supportive of the cause. He was there when he uh, went to Bangalore when the first kitchen was there at that time. And uh, so he has, um, you know, he comes from a lower middle class family, and he knows what hunger is. Mm -hmm. But they were all very happy. And uh, so what his message is that, you know, these children are given them the food in the dignity of being in a class and having meals provided in their proper environment. Mm -hmm. And that's what's required, that, you know, there should not, you should not give out of guilt mm -hmm. or fear. Mm -hmm. You should give because you want to give, want to and give. this is the future of India. Thank you so much. Thank you. We are at fundraising gala of Akshay Patra, and Akshay Patra is a foundation that provides meals to hundreds and thousands of, uh, actually, I would say millions of people every day here. And there are kids who are hungry and who are getting education. And to support that, we have a worldwide renowned actor and activist, Anupam Kher. Welcome, Anupam. Thank you so much. Thank you. Such so how are you feeling today? I feel always, I feel every day great. great. I don't choose days to feel good. So tell me, uh, your, like, um, how's your experience working with uh, Akshay Patra? You know, what did you attract you? At the very early stage when Akshay Patra had only one kitchen, I was shooting for a film in... Uh, in Bangalore, mm -hmm. and I was invited by one of the founder members of uh, Akshay Patra uh, to visit their kitchen, the first ever kitchen mm -hmm. in Bangalore. And I went there along with uh, Abhishek Bachchan and Mahima Chaudhary, and I saw the kind of work on a first-hand basis, and I was very happy to uh, to serve food to those children. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's they're doing phenomenal work to be able to uh, feed 1.76 uh, children every, every day, one million, one, one point uh, million seven million, million. Yeah, million children every day is, is fantastic, fantastic. They, and, and they do it out of compassion for them, not out of pity for them. Mm -hmm. And when uh, Akshay Patra USA asked me to, be, uh, to lend my support, and I thought mm -hmm. it was very important since I'm now working here mm -hmm. for the last one year for the American series uh, New Amsterdam. It's, it's important to look at life from another point of view, not only from a point of view of just an actor. My life is beyond acting and uh, cinema and other things. And uh, it's important to talk about such causes. So, yeah. You know, I was talking to one of the directors and he mentioned, you know, some of the kids, they will come uh, to school only so that they can get the meal. And it's something, you know. Yeah, I think it's... it's uh, Meal is an important uh, issue, and I think uh, it's important issue not only for to fill in fill fill your stomach, but also to sort of give you uh, food t so that you can do other things, so that you can participate in games, so that you can study. Uh, but food is an inside. Food is physical need to do that. Yeah. When children feel uh, it's the, the other choice that such children have is that they can go on the streets to beg or to go to neighbors or something. And why not? I think it's very important to dignify these children, to, digni to give dignity to these children. Mm -hmm. And that's what Akshay Patra has done. 
And, you know, um, like it's kind of a different concept. You know, in, uh, for U.S. children, probably they cannot understand the depth um, of this uh, main idea. And uh, uh, would you like to say anything to the U.S. You know, I think it diaspora? Is, uh, the world is not just U.S. The world is uh, all over the place. And uh, uh, what the, I'm not... Uh, we are a developing country now, so I don't want to sort of consider sure. uh, include India into the other countries, but there are children we need, whether it is uh, Brazil, whether it's Rio de Janeiro, whether it is Africa, whether it is anywhere in the, any developing country has a certain section of children which need uh, nourishment, which need food. Uh, uh, I see a lot of homeless people on the streets of USA. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we call them in India, we call them beggars and Bihari over here, they call them homeless. Uh, United States always find out a very interesting, dignified names for people who are underprivileged. Uh, but I think over the over here also, I celebrate my birthday uh, with every time with an organization which is doing great work. This time I went to uh, to uh, to New York for the cancer place, and I saw a lot of people, charity going on there. Charity, everybody needs. You, uh, it, it doesn't need to be wherever there is a, even one hungry child. It's a shameful thing to happen, so I think we need to eradicate that. You know, uh, you have uh, been uh, related to like very many causes and organizations. Tell us why we all should be part uh, for some cause and, uh, you know. To feel thankful to God that you are better off than those people. It's important to sort of uh, feel that way. It is important. Uh, life is not only about what you are doing. Life is also about what you are doing for life what you are doing for people, what you are doing for society, what do you, what you are doing for old people's home, what you are doing for underprivileged children, uh, people who are not as fortunate as you are. You don't have to do those things out of your guilt, but you have to do their thing because you need to do that. It will make you feel good about yourself. Now going to your acting career, is there any character you like the most or you learned from that character? I learn everything from anything that I do in life. It is not necessarily that I'm the character that I play. I learn while even talking to you. I, there are some one or two things uh, I learn. You need to be open to learning. And every context in life, every people, person in life teaches you something or the other. Anything else you would like to say to? I'm happy to be here. I'm, let's, I will request these people who are coming and collecting here or who are watching your show to donate uh, with, full, uh, with their full heart and also with their pockets uh, for such amazing, worthy causes. Thank you so much. Pleasure. I'm Anupam Khair and you are watching Starry TV. We have actress and supporter of uh, Akshay Patra, Aksh, uh, Ashwani Bhave. So let's talk to her. Welcome, Ashwani. Namaste. Namaste. So tell us about experience with Akshay Patra. How are you involved in this? Uh, I've been involved for the last couple of years, and I think uh, one is always looking out for organizations which are well-run, which have noble cause, yes. and, um, you know, it's... Transparent. Uh, yes. yes. Uh, and I think Akshay Patra uh, has Comes all those... Uh, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, there are people who work for Akshay Patra are so inspiring, uh, so giving, um, and they are just transparent. So... Uh, I love to uh, donate for uh, to Akshay Patra and uh, love to support them in whichever way possible. And I'm uh, especially thrilled that they are this year they have opened uh, one in Pune. Uh, so I belong to Maharashtra. Oh. So it gives nice. me immense pleasure yeah. to be uh, uh, supporting uh, uh, these yeah. projects. Mm -hmm. uh, they are opening very soon one in Panvel and uh, one is already running in Thane. So three, uh, and they last year they opened in uh, Nagpur. Oh, wow. So I think it's great. Great growth, great yeah. growth here. Thank you so much for talking welcome. to us. Yeah, welcome. We have uh, Vice uh, Chairman of uh, USA, Akshay Patra. So let's talk to him about how Akshay Patra was started here. He's going to take us back and give us more history of Akshay Patra. Welcome. Thank you so much. I'm, um, I'm uh, B.V. Jagadish. Um, Akshay Patra founded about uh, 18, 20 years ago out of Bangalore and based on needs of uh, poor kids from school who were not getting meals, um, some of the founders from ISKCON Temple out of Bangalore, they kind of found the opportunity to serve 
uh, free midday meal because they wanted to make sure that no kid goes hungry because of uh, you know going to school or whatever and that was the beginning of the program and uh, many of the Infosys founders like Mohandas Pai, Narayan Murthy and all they came forward and they supported in a big way to open up large kitchens and provide uh, vehicles to transport the food that is cooked in these kitchens into many rural villages. So the model in which the Akshapatra centralized kitchens actually work is typically a central kitchen would support about 100 to 150,000 children per kitchen. Wow. Right, so that's 1 lakh to 1 lakh 50,000 yeah. per kitchen. And they use these uh, vehicles where the food gets transported in multiple containers. So depending on every school's capacity, uh, that school gets labeled and appropriate amount of food gets delivered to that particular school. And the whole process of cooking actually starts around 4 a.m. Wow. And the food is cooked and done by 8, 7.30 to 8 o'clock. And by 8 o'clock, all these vans are actually moving from the centralized kitchen to a radius of about 50 kilometers from that. So hundreds of these vehicles, mm -hmm. they all leave. And typically what happens is in the South Indian kitchens, mm -hmm. it's more rice-centric kind of meals. And in the North Indian kitchens, you have roti, dal, curry, and things like that. And every Saturday, there is a sweet. Oh, that's good. Yes. <laughs> the kids love sweet uh, the most. <laughs> okay, anything else you would like to say to the um, viewers of the area? Yeah, so Akshay Patra, ever since uh, they started with 10, 15,000 children, today we're doing about 1.8, 1.85 million children every day giving fresh, healthy, and nutritious food. And given and delivered hot by the time the children actually eat. So what this leads to is children like I myself, I come from a village where when I was growing, there was no concept of midday meal. And many of these children used to be pulled out of the schools, right, for uh, daily labor, agricultural work, and so on and so forth, mm -hmm. without giving priority for education, right? So a lot of these people just remain in the villages or whatever, uh, not being fully educated. I was fortunate because even though I came from the village, mm -hmm. parents were very supportive. very supportive and prioritized on the education. So that's what led to someone like me getting the education and then being here right now. So I think it's very important that every one of your viewers realize the importance of making sure that every child in India gets a fair opportunity to get that education. And for that, especially in the rural, it's very important to make sure that you provide at least one good meal to bring the ch child into the school so that the child gets education. Thank you. So we have Siva Sivaram. He's also a board member of uh, US Akshay Patra. So we have a lot of uh, support and a lot, lot of uh, activists today here. So let's talk to him about Akshay Patra. Welcome, Siva Sivaram. Thank you. Thank you. Good to be here. Uh, so tell us uh, about the you know, main ideology behind Akshay Patra. You know. So Akshay Patra is one of those ideas which is very easy to explain. Mm -hmm. Education is the biggest transformative agent in any society. Mm -hmm. But a hungry child does not learn. They don't see it, yeah. Simplest thing, you want to make sure we provide the conditions where a child learns. I mean, first thing, make sure the child is fed. In many communities, this is the only food that the child gets, nutritional food that wow. he gets. So we believe in the scale of Akshay Patra to deliver food to children in India, so that they can learn, they can transform the communities. You know, it's interesting and that in the U.S., we probably can grasp that concept, you know, a child getting only that meal while they are being educated, you know. So are you explaining to American kids out here? It is, it, it's absolutely true, especially here in Silicon Valley, we take opportunities for granted. Yeah. Indians in Silicon Valley are the model minority. Yeah. We have people running for the president, Indian diaspora. We have, we have people who are governors of states. 
We have people who are nominated, ready to be nominated to the Supreme Court. We have Congress representatives, all from this community. We have people who are the captains of the industry. So that minority here has a view of this exceptional performing Indians. But there is another world, the world where many of us came from. I was in India till I was 22 years of age. The India that I came from is not the US that we are here. And that India needs help from the diaspora. That India requires that we give opportunities to the children. It's like I got the opportunity to come here. First place to solve is that these children have food in their stomachs so that they can learn. We don't quite understand the scale of this till you actually go and visit in India. The small village unit where the schools are, kids come to the school really for the food. Without the food, the kids will not come to the parents, will not send the kids to the school. They would rather be working. This is the problem we are trying to solve. Thank you so much for bringing this out to us. Sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. We have Anil Gadwani here, and he's a big supporter of Akshay Patra. So let's check uh, with him how he became a supporter. Welcome, Anil. Nice to be here. You know, I uh, have been very passionate uh, about social entrepreneurship. I started a nonprofit called India Community Center here, mm -hmm. but I also wanted to do something in India. and went to an event uh, called Sandbox uh, by the Deshpande Foundation many years ago and ended up chatting with that Desh and that's how I got involved. Um, education has been uh, something close to our hearts, uh, our family, and uh, we believe in the transformational power of education to change people's lives for generations. So Akshay Patra just uh, uh, spoke to us and the fact that something like $20 could convert a kid's life, give them education um, for years. And uh, it wasn't just the 20 bucks, it's how the organization was being run. Uh, where the government with a government and uh, NGO partnership where the $20 would then be matched by the government. Um, so a lot of very, very interesting, interesting things about it uh, initially attracted me to it.